Hello, it's Nikki. Thanks for joining. If you're here for the first time, I'm a personal branding coach. I'm a writer, a speaker, a podcaster, an actor, a mum of two, and I'm here for all this personal brand chat and how you can create your own version of success. So today's topic is more of a question, which is, what is the free version costing you? Now, in the beginning, when I was starting out, when I was doing a per hour job, which is what it was, and training to be a coach, and investing in logos, a website, petrol to get to all of these events and work towards my training, I was so grateful for free versions, thank goodness. And I now am always a huge proponent of actually emailing somebody going, do you know what that webinar that you did four years ago changed my life or that thing I did 10 years ago was amazing and exactly what I needed at the time. And that is an amazing way of learning or an amazing way of dipping your toe in with very little risk. However, there needs to come a point where you become discerning about what you consume or what is part of your business. And what I mean by that is sometimes we can get so excited about all the things that are free. You know, going to a hotel breakfast buffet is the pure example of this. How many times have you come back and sat at your table after consuming all these things and putting them all on your plate? And whoever you're with, or if you're even on your own, you look at your plate and you're like, wow, that looks really random. I've got a bit of egg, a bit of melon, I've got a random bagel on the side, I've got a bran muffin that I don't really want, but it's free, so I'll take it. And I think lots of people stay in, the, stay in this headspace for a long time of going, it's free, so I should take it, or I may learn something from it. And ultimately what may happen is you stay in that place of consuming a lot of things you actually don't need. And you stay in this place where you kind of keep yourself small because you don't allow yourself to invest in order to get the growth. Now, let me break it down. Invest always, I feel like it's a word that's just like thrown around so much like the investment is or I'm investing in myself and it's like, yeah, but what does that actually mean? So for example, if you sign up for a new piece of software, for example, and they have a free version and then they maybe have like two or three paid versions, depending on the amount of customers or how often you're using it or the number of projects, etc. You might think to yourself, okay, I'm gonna do the free version because I don't want another business expense. I don't wanna be paying X amount per year or per month, like that just seems a lot. But what happens with quite often with those free versions is they have a cap. So they may say, yeah, you can use my software, you can use this, but you're only allowed three customers. So what happens is automatically that shrinks your personal business, your brand, because you're only reaching capacity at three um, customers, because in your head you may have gone, well, I don't wanna pay for this, so I'll just stay small. However, if you do the maths on what those things could look like, so, I quite often do this when I'm thinking about purchasing something because I am aware of that transactional thing and this is by no means like a conversation of like money's no object, I just throw money at something, I've got you know millions of pounds under the bed, I really haven't. But what I do now with purchases of when I'm considering about how I can grow things is how many things do I need to sell in order to make that work or if I purchase that, how much time would it free up later down the line? So it's much more of a bigger thinking sort of uh, picture, I guess, because I truly believe as a personal brand or doing your own gig, that your income is limitless. Like there are people who are scraping by, of course, but there are people making millions of pounds, dollars, 
from this. So I can't think about those old ways of thinking of like, what is this gonna cost me per year? And what is that amount out of a salary? Because I don't have a salary in that way. So what I'm looking at is that exchange of thinking, how can I make this work better? Because also what can happen is, if you do the free version of something all the time, is that you're not gonna have like technology in order to support you. And what's gonna happen is the amount of times where you have to go back and forth and you know, you're know you tweaking or you're doing the thing manually just to stay in the free version, it's taking away from the time that could be spent working on your business or growing things or pitching ideas or actually working with customers. So I want you to think about that over the next few weeks and think about the free versions that you're still working with and question, are they actually getting you results? Is there a better way that you can do this? Could you make an investment in one place and maybe reduce something in another? Or are you listening to podcasts that are actually serving where you're going? Or are you just listening to it because it's the next one on? So your time is precious basically is what I'm saying. You have lots of people to serve. You have lots of great things to do in the world. You've got money to make. So think about what you need to do next. Any thoughts, any queries, questions, leave them down below. I would love to open a conversation about this and um, see where you're up to. And also feel free to book a free 15 minute session with me. You can have a chat with me. You can tell me where you're up to, what you're looking to achieve this year. I know this year's already starting to gallop and go a bit quicker. So my question for you is, are you on track? Are you doing what you wanted to do? Are you like actually living out and taking actions closer to those goals that you set at the beginning of the year or the month, the week, whatever it might be. Because I am a huge believer in manifestation, but also you've got to meet and walk and take action to meet it halfway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, All the details are down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye.